Hey everybody. So today I'm out here in Barkhampstead, Connecticut at the old nature museum. Beautiful stone building, beautiful hiking trails, gorgeous place. Let me show you around. This is, tell us a little bit, it's actually closed now because it's fall. What to do if you encounter a bear? Let's hope we don't today. Here's the museum. So you can see the windows are boarded up. I've never seen that before. Over here we got a beautiful hiking trail. Trees are gorgeous yellow. I used to come here and picnic when I was a kid. Used to be a picnic table here. We'd park right here. They have little flower beds and stuff around here now. That never used to be the case. There used to be a path, used to be a picnic table right here. Two of them actually. And there used to be a path right here. They went down, still is, went down to the other camps picnic site down there. Actually not supposed to camp here. Although we did as kids once. My mom brought us here. Here's the museum. Very beautiful place. Sure brings back memories for me. Now it's full of stuffed, you know, real dead stuffed, I don't know what you really call them, animals from around here, beavers, owls, different things like that. This sign right here tells us about the tree. 40 to 50 feet tall. Cones are green when young, dark blue when mature. Look at the stonework in this place. Check it out. There used to be a big door knocker on here. Let's see if it's still on here. Oh, the door knocker's gone. There used to be a big door knocker on here. We used to clang it. Just like that. Maybe it was the handle, and I just thought it was door knocker when I was a kid. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. I remember walking these trails over here too. My mom would play horseshoes right here with my dad and elder siblings and their spouses. And us younger kids would run around, play house and hide and seek and whatever. I leave it. Water out for the birds and the wildlife. Here, the southern and northern red oak, rather. I wish we could see inside. Show you the beautiful inside of the building, but I'd love to come back in the spring for that. Because as you can see, it is totally boarded up. And over here. You put a bench. So if you're done with your hike. This tells about all kinds of people. And the trails. The trails and the people they were named after. Pretty neat. None of these names are ringing a bell to me. I 
Agnes Bowen. So, and then these, I'll just tell her types of trees. Very beautiful place to get in touch with some wildlife and some nature. Just relax. I mean, look at these trees, this building. It's just beautiful. Totally beautiful. Here's the signs to a few of those trails. We're not going to hike them today, but I'll do a video of these trails when I when I hike them. My battery's getting low today, so I won't be doing a video of it today. But I just wanted to show you. It's a really cool path. A lot of fun in there on that path when I was a child. Okay, well, thanks for checking me out. Remember, be kind.